Welcome to the Safety Third Podcast, the podcast where safety is our number one priority. Today's special guest is one of the safest people on the internet, and I'm actually very excited to talk to you today. And I had uh, I had you do a little bit of research. Oh, oh on, I, I, on the x-rays, right? I want, yeah, because I want your opinion. We have uh, Styro Pyro, and uh, I did a thing, whose also Hello. last video was, man, you probably got some comments about the safety of that <laughs> horrible contraption. And then the, the I really did. And then the backdoor scientist, who always has been known for his no, <laughs> the backyard scientist, who has always been known for for his uh, safety standards. That's uh, gonna we, catch on, Will. Don't let that catch on. <laughs> edit, <laughs> editor Zach is here to to do all our googling for us. Right. You know, you know, Alex. I'm normally a, not known for my safety, okay. but even in Discord, I was like, I was suggesting ways for Alex to be safer in his video because it was just terrifying. Uh, oh, with the, he the was jump sending us, like, yeah, he's yeah. like yeah. sending us clips of it. Yeah, I'm like, no way, dude. This is horrible. Yeah, that thing was <laughs> sketchy. <laughs> Uh, I love it that at the end I put a banana, just a, a tiny banana into it, and the whole thing blew apart. And you didn't <laughs> yeah, actually see I in know. the video, but a bear, a bearing just shot across my yard, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah. I, the bearings were the one thing I thought was going to stay in there, but no, they could. Oh, from the uh, fidget spinner. From the yeah, thing, like I mean, the metal thing. Yeah. I don't know if I'm supposed <laughs> to talk about this, but uh, in BattleBots. Um, Hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Screw it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. BattleBots, <laughs> the yeah. insurance company imposed a rule. Like they, I don't remember which season it was, but the insurance company came in and they came up with this arbitrary rule that said that the tip speed of the weapons cannot be faster than 300 miles an hour. And it oh, wasn't yeah. it wasn't a weapon concern. It was a projectile concern because if you start whipping screws and bolts out. Like, like at 300 plus miles an hour, probably even faster too, if you get some springiness. Um, yeah. They don't know what happens when it hits the Lexan. If, if something hits the Lexan. Um, yeah, there. Oh, wow. So even though, the, even though it's like bulletproof um, glass, it's like a, it's an inch and a quarter thick. And I, I think it's like two quarters of acrylic on both sides. And then the rest is like Lexan, like polycarbonate in the middle. Well, that's wild. That's, that's thick. Oh, dude, that, the sheets that's are like, up. they're, they're like a thousand bucks each or something. Oh yeah. I believe that. Each, that. Yeah. For each square. Right. And <laughs> there's a ton of these squares. So yeah, yeah no, it's, that's dude. I, I think like the worst part of the, the, um, jump rope contraption you made, Alex, is the, the, sp when you spin things and they break, it goes just out. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, but I think, can that not also work to your advantage in it? At least it's like, my logic was, it's going to go out in a single plane. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, yeah. I'll just yeah, make yeah. sure that that's always not facing me. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's definitely yeah, the idea. I mean, facing my neighbors, just fly into my neighbors' houses and hopefully right. their brick walls catch it all. Because I know, like, Styropar, you put, um, you built a spark gap with an angle grinder at one point, right? Oh, yeah, and, and that's like, did, that's like. Did that ever explode? Surprisingly, that thing didn't. I mean, I, I burned up electrodes on it, but it's like, like, it's like those crazy mechanical things. Like, that's the stuff that sketches me out, right? Like, at least, like, the electricity God. stuff, like, it makes sense sometimes, right? But, like, when you have, like, a spinning, uh, like, disc of death, like, yeah. those things can, like. Cause if that thing like launches off, it's gonna bounce all over the place, and yeah. like that thing has a lot of angular <laughs> momentum. You know, it's gonna take a lot to stop that. But right. uh, I've seen yeah. people make them with with plastic before, and as the spark gaps, they'll like melt it up eventually. Yeah, and they'll just melt and they'll all <laughs> and just shoot off at the same time. Yeah, it unbalances like a centrifuge or something. You know, and once it gets slightly out, yeah. it starts rattling, and you know, and yeah, that's that gets sketchy. Yeah, but it's the mechanical stuff, idea. right? Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. that's what scares me at least. I feel like mechanical failures are like almost sometimes like more startling than electrical failures. Oh yeah, because like, you at I least expect like, electrical failures, right? Like yeah, like <laughs> electrical fail failures. You know what do they say? Like five minutes or five years. I feel oh, yeah. like electrical failures are mm. going to happen really quickly. But like sometimes mechanical oh, yeah. stuff actually needs a little bit of time before. Yeah, it's horrible, yeah, horrible, horrible. yeah. <laughs> like like the capacitor bank, right? Did you? Um, okay, so Kevin and I, God. <laughs> Man, I feel like you would have loved this. Uh, oh, yeah. There's this giant capacitor bank that um, Kevin's and Kevin's friends kind of put together. It's like uh, 20,000 microfarads uh, at 20,000 volts. Oh, I have a similar capacitor. Yeah, it's like 100 microfarads, 20,000 volts. It's like 20, 
five thousand joules of energy or something. Yeah, Have you done the same the same dumb shit that they <laughs> were doing with it. Well, it's funny. Like I, I've done I've done a lot of dumb shit with uh, capacitors, but I I do have this real monster capacitor that I had to like sign these forms oh, to the I, government that said like, oh, I'm not going to use them for like <laughs> nuclear research. And then they sold it to Whoa. me. But I saw that on Twitter. It's like the big blue one, right? Yeah, and it's like it's designed yeah. for for pulses. Like it's meant for like it's like really low ESR ESL, and it's like meant for like dumping charge really quickly. But like in my current setup, like I've I got neighbors. I'm in just this rented commercial space. Like I don't dare discharge that here because it'd probably blow out all the windows. You know, like I, it I sounds saw like a wire. grenade. Yeah, and I like the shrapnel that hit your leg. Yeah, like that's like a uh, yeah. That like it shows like. It's like a it's like a true detonation. Like you get supersonic yeah. explosion. You know, like easy. Yeah, that was thirty feet away. So we, and it was yeah, enough whoa. to stick a tiny piece want, of wire, like a centimeter. Do you want to clarify what the whole setup was, Kevin? Oh yeah. Just in case. Okay. Know. All right. So so in this video that I did, we took a bunch of capacitors. It was we got them from my engineering club from a lab next door that used them for like testing lightning on on stuff so they would do like you know it's like small test scale lightning strikes on like equipment or something yeah, like they like shut that. down the lab right <laughs> yeah the lab shut down oh no, it was was like, <laughs> yeah, right. let's give these like 18 year old kids these capacitors <laughs> yeah what could so, go wrong <laughs> exactly well i guess you so get we... gun guns in florida so it's like it's 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 not much worse than that <laughs> right no but that's so that's we... the thing we did the math so the capacitors are hooked up in uh series uh, parallel. Oh, okay. parallel. That's, that makes so, more sense. So to get as much capacity, man, are they really rated for 20 kilovolts each? 20, 25, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So <laughs> We only did it to 20 though. Yeah, so smart. The, 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 the capacitors are, are wired together in parallel, so their um, total capacity is combined, and then they're charged up with high voltage, like high voltage power supply. And yeah. then they are mechanically... Uh, uh, it's got like, like it's a it's a device that it's held back by like a little solenoid and you let go and it's got a copper bar and it slaps and a on huge the spring. Yeah, it's yeah. like a huge coil spring yeah. it's like a mechanical latch basically like an electrical latch <laughs> that slams down with a big spring and then you put a thin piece of wire like magnet wire in between the two terminals up top and it detonates and what, what did we, did you do any math did they say it was like, uh, 50 like, cal? It was like the same energy as yeah, a 50 cal it's like Whoa. same energy as a 50 caliber sniper but faster <laughs> but even faster Dude. you know yeah with yeah low like SCR faster cash. yeah crazy yeah. it was so impressive like for you know you when you talk about like you know like an explosive like how much energy there is like per yeah gram of it the yeah. density of the like energy per gram of the wire oh yeah. yeah is like <laughs> it is ridiculous you know, that's actually a legit technique for making a laser like you can take uh a, like a metal wire and put it in like a, a pressurized oxygen atmosphere and then just blow it up with a capacitor bank and like it's not very efficient but it is like it, it is a legit technique you know because you just be cool. put Whoa. so much energy into something you know and yeah, something do different that big, metals. You know? Oh yeah, like do it, different it, metals make different things? Like have different amounts of explosive force. Oh yeah, it's like it, it's not it's not so much like the explosive force because like either way, it's it's all on, uh, you know, the vast majority of the energy is just from whatever you charge the capacitor bank to. But like you get mm. different effects with different metals. Like hell, I, in in this old uh, like I got I got this old book from like the seventies. It's all these like crazy attempts at making lasers. So they had a section on these exploding wire ones, but they also had like an attempt where they took like like kilograms of uranium and they put it in a pressurized oxygen atmosphere and then strapped like a kilo of C of uh, C four to it, or I guess it was RDX, the pure stuff. Dude, that's epic. It's like where do you wait? Where do you find this stuff? This is just I, I bought the book on eBay. It's like an old book from the seventies on chemical lasers, but it just like all, the all, good the, stuff's all on these eBay. attempts though, like it just like insane. So then they just made like kilograms of uranium vapor that went you know who knows where everywhere but, yeah it's just like holy that's shit. that's what happened with the with the capacitor bank it, that we were detonating oh yeah things you in see florida. like this brown yes. cloud of, like, oh the water. copper like, vapor atomized yeah. copper it, yeah. and i i got something on my hand do you remember that yeah uh because like we, i didn't was... put this in the video but it was a mystery what oh, happened we... to will yeah do we talk oh man yeah. uh, there were a couple of, there were a couple of situations <laughs> there were a couple of instances where oh, it was a little bit uh hairier than i wish it would have been <laughs> um the first one 
was somebody got they didn't realize it was charged up and we asked a question oh, no. and somebody went to point to something and we were like whoa, whoa like you know we didn't immediately realize yeah. you know it was sort of like hey, hey what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing yeah so it's kind of like you know probably like the whole thing probably should have like yeah. better enclosures but he, dude he, i feel like at that voltage like it doesn't matter like maybe a little light or something like a little led light that pulses or a little tiny like one of those spinny lights that was the first one where it was just like a little bit too close for comfort. As his were... finger got close to it, you could hear it start going. Yeah. Oh, so we, no! we, you know, we yelled at him. Oh, like, oh, it's, oh, it's charged, no. it's charged, it's charged. Yeah. So oh, like that my. was. And this was the guy that what? Like oh, basically he... built it too. So oh. he, if anybody should have known, it should have been that's, him. Yeah, but that, that's why it was like, like your like, safety oh, yeah, protocol like... is so important. Because like, he didn't yeah. know, like he didn't realize that we had charged it up, and we yeah. didn't like. And the thing, like, so there, there's been a couple times in my life where I have realized that you, if you think something's wrong, like you have to open your mouth because, yeah. like, just because right, you think somebody die. knows what they're doing a doesn't mean assumption. that they do know what they're doing. Yeah. And so the first time was with uh, <laughs> at the VidCon with David Dobrik and Casey Neistat. They were using uh, our shopping cart, the motorized shopping cart. And they were like ready to, to do some like stuff with it where I was like, this is not, <laughs> like, this is a really bad idea. Um, and I made their friend Jonah, who was in the shopping cart, I made him wear a helmet, which they like, you know, I like, I made him wear the helmet. Yeah. You are going to wear this helmet. Uh, and that was kind of like a realization where I sat down. I was like, you know what? Like I am the expert here. I'm the one who has to be like, no, like you're, you yeah. guys are not going to do that. Um, and then this was the second time where it was like, ev like even though that, you know, he was more comfortable with the machine. He wasn't paying attention to what we were doing. And so he wasn't aware of like where in the process of the detonation we were and got too comfortable with it because there's not like appropriate, you know, I mean, like lockouts. Like but it's like, just like grr. if the guy like it, it, I know how this is, because like, especially if someone's like, like, I'll let anyone near my stuff unless like they are the type of person that builds like this kind of stuff. So it's like, Right. Th that was good of you to, to catch that, because like if this guy, you know, if this guy built this device, then you just assume he knows what's going on. But yeah, if it's yes, oh, I, you even exactly. heard the corona. You heard the corona. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, so wow. so basically, Crazy. that was the first one, um, and we that was like a very very quick realization for me. That was like lockdown. That was like okay, like from now on, I am going to be like in complete control of like the protocol and. Like I'm going to dictate everything that happens because we're not like we're not doing that today. Yeah. Um, and then the second one, this one was like I always like especially stuff like this where it's loud and bright. Like always wear safety glasses. Like always yeah. wear uh, safety yeah. glasses. So everybody there had safety glasses. Always wear ear protection. Yeah. And it was loud. We had to discharge it once, and there really wasn't a good method for discharging. <laughs> Yeah. Other than I mean, I know how this goes, right? It's just like a metal thing it. on a stick, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 And yeah. the problem was we had, like, every time we were detonating it, it would um, mostly discharge. And so when we, would, yeah. when we would short it, it was like a little bit of a pop. But one time it didn't, it like, it like half discharged. And so when we shorted it, it like exploded. Oh, and yeah. The, yeah. And the stick with like, we had a piece of copper pipe on a stick. It was way too short and it like blew up right in our faces. And Whoa. I don't Oops, think, I, think I, I was wearing ear protection and I was wearing eye protection. I don't think. And you were squinting and turning away. Yeah. Right. And I think, <laughs> I think the, the other guy was not wearing ear protection. So it was like loud. Oh, and yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's like, well. It's a true yeah. detonation, you know? It's like, oh, right. yeah, like that can blow your, your eardrums out for sure. And it's like, we, you all, it makes you realize, like, you really have to just, like, always wear glasses. Yeah. Like, always. Like, literally always wear. Like, there's no reason not to. Yeah, like, yeah but that kind of stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah, sure. And then well, Will had this weird tan on his hand. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> and we didn't, we didn't, we didn't know if it was either from the intense, like, ultraviolet UV? light. Or if it was, it might have been like actually atomized copper that was sprayed yeah. onto his hand. Like, I mean, it was kind of, I, I've gotten it. Could a, have been either one. Yeah. Like, like I've got a t like, it's funny, like the, yeah, like because I've gotten a tan from uh, like a, a weird kind of thermite exploding next to my hand, and uh, like because yeah, like it went up really close to me. It was like unexpected, and I, I actually got like a sunburn from it. And like, you can get sunburns welding too. Oh yeah, like welding yeah. Welding will give you. Yeah, sunburns. I've, yeah. I've got a nose. Yeah. I've got in the tan on my face and neck. Oh Same. man, I always get it right on my arm. But you got it from like a thermite reaction. Yeah, and, and this happened like extremely fast. It wasn't like classic thermite. It was really like fast, but still, I mean, this happened like a split second, 
and uh yeah it like panned me and gave me like a, a sunburn and that was so that's it's pretty like crazy yeah that's pretty cool well that's it was sketchy because i mean that was like and, the, and like the burn wasn't thermal well i mean it, it my skin got hot but it's just like so I, I totally believe that you got a wire exploding getting to some un like some crazy temperature of course it's going to make a ton of uv you know that's just like how hot things that's what they do so yeah it's like yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was like instant you know he had it with you know you could see it develop within i think like i just yeah minutes. we just like looked down at my hand at one point and i was like oh what is what is that I mean, just <laughs> little, yeah just yeah, copper vapor deposition right it was yeah. like little it was splotchy oh, too like that was what was weird is oh. there was only a couple spots of it i think because it was the shadow from your knuckles on like the back oh, of your hand wow it was like, yeah it was really i have video sure it's not radioactive will <laughs> I, no, I, yeah. I was too <laughs> i was too afraid to will find is out. copper man <laughs> I, I think of everybody here though. I feel like like Styro has done the most dangerous stuff. Well, I Maybe, mean, like I. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me qual let me qualify. I'm. I feel like you you have even if it's done safely. I feel like some of the stuff you've done has is definitely some of the scariest. Yeah, like yes and no. Like I, I know Ke like Kevin does a lot of he has a lot of the same like science fields that that I like to dabble in. Right, you know. So it's yeah. like like at least like. Oh uh, yeah, the high voltage stuff, like unless it's like really like low current stuff, like that's like the easiest thing to get killed on, at least of the science hobbies, right? Like unlike chemistry where you might like blow a few fingers off or something, or uh or you know, electronics or something gets high like high voltage, that's like the that's like the hobby or whatever where like you touch something and you die, you know, like there is there's very yeah. little in between. <laughs> but uh yeah, so what about that Tesla coil that you built? Didn't you build some crazy vacuum tube Tesla coil? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And it's funny, like the vacuum tube ones are like uh like the drive supply in those is, is like the lethal part. Like the actual output isn't like that scary. It's not that you should be like because I mean I'll I'll just straight up touch it. I'll stick my hand in the arc. Oh, so you can you can touch that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. See? Well <laughs> Okay. I mean it's not something you like I'll just do brief things of it because you can get like, you know, deep yeah. burns, but like it's not gonna just insta kill you if you touch it, you know. At least like the classic designs. Then you got those like plasma generators that like, where it's like directly connected. The coils like sitting. Yeah, those the... are the ones I was thinking of. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's the, tricky. Those ones are scary. Those ones are scary because I mean like they can melt like yeah because you've built a solid state version right, Kevin? Yeah, just a tiny one with like a single MOSFET. <laughs> yeah, and it yeah. It the crap out of me. Oh yeah, yeah, and it's like. <laughs> and that's like the, the smaller version of like these two it's like it's a really interesting circuit because yeah. it's like it's kind of like a tesla coil but it's like it can melt anything and uh, and for like that yeah. the ones with a high voltage drive supply they're, they're like ridiculously lethal uh if you get if you get close to the output but uh they're crazy because you're used to be able you know you're used to be able to touch like tesla coil you know yeah you know, yeah you touch them and you'll be fine but if you touch these oh. it's like you that's it oh yeah yeah they're, they're... nice pretty that's nice sorry. pretty flame and, and it's like right, it doesn't you... even look like sparks it looks like a flame yeah yeah it's ridiculous yeah and, they, and it gets so hot yeah i could go on pretend and on about like, those pretend like i'm in fifth grade and i and i'm really dumb uh can, how, can you explain the basics of how a tesla coil works like the simple explanation of uh, a tesla coil. well i mean it's like so I guess the, the big idea is like is resonance, right? So it's like you have these, uh, you got these tuned, gosh, to a fifth grader. This is hard. I mean, but, yeah, I'm like you got res resonance. You've already you've already lost it. Well, it's yeah. So you got uh, they're tuned resonance circuits, and uh, so like uh, you got I guess so if you put a capacitor uh, in parallel with an inductor, you, you form this resonance circuit, and like depending on the values of the uh, capacitor and inductor. It's gonna have some natural resonant frequency to it, and uh, I guess like with the Tesla coils, you make two of these circuits, and uh, well, sometimes one can uh, not have the capacitor, but I guess that doesn't matter. Well, so like the original one, right? You have you got two of these uh, capacitor inductor like circuits, and and you couple them together so you can uh, transfer energy from one into the other, and they have to be like really they have to be like uh, like pretty close to perfectly tuned. Uh, so the output coil will uh, uh, will pick up the energy from uh, the primary coil, the input coil. So that's is the inductor is just the two coils. Well, there's two inductors. Uh, like the primary one is like the more classic inductor because it's like uh, you know it, it's not that many turns. It, it's the second coil that's uh, that has like a bunch of turns on it, and that one like 
that and there's so many so, turns like the capacitance of the actual coil also matters but this still so isn't seen, good for I've a seen fifth some, grader. Like, real, what about okay uh okay that was I, not a fifth yeah, grader explanation it, 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 i was just even, about to say yeah. I mean, like you I, lost everyone i feel like i have a general oh, idea like but I, I don't know if i could Two tuning forks okay. right yeah like if you if yeah. anyone's ever played with tuning forks like you got two tuning forks that so you smack it against something, it's only going to make one sound unless you like beat the hell out of it, right? So you smack it, it's right. going to make one sound. If you have an identical tuning fork in the other hand, you smack one, you put it next to each other, and the second one's going to start uh, vibrating too. I think like like Huygens discovered that like some super long time ago. But it's like so then uh, the the coil ratio then makes so the resonance has a higher voltage. Well, I on the... that that part's more tricky because it's like there's a lot of factors there because it's like. Uh, yeah, you have more, you got more turns, you know, than just like in a transformer. If the secondary coil has more turns than the primary, then there's going to be typically a voltage boost. But on a Tesla coil, there's a lot more, there's other complicated stuff too, because it's like, uh, there's like, you get like a standing wave inside of, inside of the uh, secondary coil that, uh, like it, it rings up, like the instant you turn it on, you don't instantly see that voltage on, on the output coil. It has to like ring up, it oscillates and gets a, a higher voltage across it as it rings up and uh and so that's what does like the spark trickier. gap do so that that just basically I'm, I'm glad you're the one explaining this yeah kevin case. kevin just posted in chat he's like it's like i'm trying to explain a tesla call to my girlfriend <laughs> I, I mean it's like i don't it's funny you say this because like i remember like i remember when i was younger it's like trying to explain how bitcoin works oh yeah like yeah and that's does just anybody like, really know oh i don't no, yeah, nobody I, I, it's fake I it's, it's definitely fake right but no, 100%. yeah okay but, so if i wanted to, if i wanted to build one like rudimentary you, you take you make like a spark gap yeah right? that's like the earliest one that's what tesla himself invented yeah yeah the so spark then gap. The, so every, every time the spark happens it sends a pulse through the first coil yes and then that and first... is a spark gap. Is a spark gap just almost it's like a air. basic? Yeah, it's yeah. Air. It's, like... it's like a capacitor. It acts like a capacitor because it has to no, be a certain it's a switch. before it jumps. It's yeah, it's a right there. You're right there. Yeah, so it has to build up and then it yes. jumps over. Right. So like the, okay. the I think the spark gap is kind of like a diode, maybe. Uh, it's really just like a switch. More like a, the transistor. It's like a it's like a switch yeah, okay. that like has a threshold. So it's like when the voltage reaches a certain threshold, the switch switches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's a resistor. <laughs> well, it's a lot of things, but yeah, it's yeah more of a resistor and a, is the best approximation. And a and a speaker and a UV emitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like a, a broadband like uh, radio jammer, right? It's like uh, that's like seriously, that's like the original uh, radio transmitters use those spark gaps, and they make this broadband RF. So like. If you run a spark app coil outside a lot, you're gonna, probably going to piss off uh, some either like ham operators or maybe the FCC. <laughs> so it's good to put some shielding on it if you want to keep it legal. So you have a high voltage supply, right? Yeah, and that's yeah. That's charging a capacitor. And then yeah. when that capacitor reaches a certain voltage, it then arcs across the spark gap. Yeah, and, and like in, in my case, uh, it, like in my big spark gap coil, I actually use a spinning spark gap. So it's like it's not totally dependent on just the voltage of that uh, primary capacitor. It's uh, cause it spins into place. So then the electrodes match up and it fires across. Okay. And, so uh, it allows yeah. a little bit more time for charging up. It, it makes it like more consistent. Cause like, if you just keep like two mm. metal electrodes, then it, you know, it's not, it doesn't fire consistently. And uh, by spinning it kind of that way. And then you can, if you're using an AC like drive source, then you can synchronize it with like your mains frequency or, or do things like that. But, uh, uh, oh yeah, okay. was it? so yeah. it's it's kind of like a transformer, sort of, right? Yeah, it is. A, it is a tran yeah. yeah, Tesla coil is a transformer. Yeah. Okay, it's just like super well tuned and yeah. using high voltages. It's fancy, and yeah. Some, like a timing circuit. Yeah, yeah. Just, does yeah. does the um spark gap get affected by like humidity in the it, air it, and it, stuff like that? It, it does a little bit. It also affects like the arc that you get from the top of it. Uh, but it's uh, so hu I think humid air like slightly beats down uh like how far of an arc you can get but uh ideally you make your spark gap where uh that shouldn't matter you know wait humid air makes the makes it less conductive yeah it does because it's not, not like really. you would think you'll do the yeah. opposite yeah. yeah you don't get as long sparks yeah. that's why you don't get as much static i wouldn't like guess that at all yeah. moist climates I thought it, it would be like water and it's, it, bigger. I guess water's a shit conductor. Yeah, it? it's a, if it's pure, like and it, again, it depends on whether it's a gas or a liquid. But even liquid water is actually a very bad conductor when it's pure. Uh, in fact, I got lasers that you that like the high voltage. This is it, it kind of blows my mind, even though it shouldn't. 
where you have like the high voltage electrodes that are just submerged in water. It's just because you're using really pure water, it doesn't, it won't arc over. So it's like a really good insulator. Right. It's kind of mind blowing. You're so used to like, you know, toaster falling in the bathtub or something, right? Yeah. You know? Right. But tap water has a lot of dissolved ions in it. So, so you, yeah. you've been doing this for a long time in general, and then you've been making YouTube videos for longer. Who, yeah. Or I, not longer, but like a long time as well. Longer than all of us, but except maybe Kevin. Who, which of you has been doing YouTube? Yeah. Like, Cause like, when did you I don't know. Well, when did you start your account at least, Kevin? I started my account, I think, April 1st, 2013. Oh, okay. I think. Because mine is, I think, from 2006, uh, end of 2006. Oh, okay. So yeah, but... were you, okay. So you've been posting like, because I think we probably all have like our kind of old dumb YouTube account, but I think you may have just <laughs> yeah. kept it yeah. the whole time. Well, I so think, you... oh, sorry. So, okay, wait, so if you went all the way back, you can see like the progression of you just kind of doing like weird little experiments and like super bad videos. And then you can kind of see like the progression. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because like, you know, there's a, like when I wanted to post, like the whole reason why I made the account is I just wanted to uh, post some videos to like a pyrotechnics forum on some like, like pyrotechnic compositions I made. Uh, so it was like, that was like the original idea. And then I just kind of posted some, you know, pretty random. It's a very stuff diplomatic way of saying bombs. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, because you're that, that makes you the oldest. Yeah. I how, wait, how, how old are you? Can I? Are you like 28, I, 29? 29. Yeah, yeah. Just turned twenty nine. See, okay. that's funny because you're like you're you're pretty. You know, I think you're a year younger than us, but you've been doing. Alex, how old are you? You're like twenty nine. I'm same age, twenty nine. Okay, cool. When did, when did you turn twenty nine? April. Okay. Oh, okay. So you guys are maybe exactly the same age. Oh, I, yeah. I turned twenty nine a few like six days ago. Yeah. yeah okay. hey, so you cool. are literally the youngest person here. Yeah, barely. How old yeah. You when you but you've been, but you've been doing you've been doing like your YouTube thing well, the longest. It, it, it's kind of like not fair <laughs> in the sense that like I wasn't a career YouTuber, right? Like I, right, I okay, wasn't okay. like mm. it was just like I'm sure you you posted. Did you guys post videos on like any other platform? Yeah. Like in just to. You, yeah, we did. To, we did. Not, so yeah, so yeah. it's like I feel like that's that's like. But we hid those channels out of shame. <laughs> wow, really? It is. It's two thousand six. Yeah. Wow. That you yeah. joined. Wow. That's Dude, that's th like literally when YouTube became a thing. It was like the end yeah. of two thousand and five. Insane. Yeah. Like to have an account dated two thousand five would be pretty crazy. Two thousand six yeah. is like. That's it's like February fourteenth, two thousand five, and you did. So you were just like a year and a half after it started. Yeah. You but, kept it going. Uh, the first video I saw on YouTube was the guy playing Cannon Rock. Was that like similar to you guys? I don't know if you guys remember your Do first I, video. I that was one, yeah, I remember that one. That was I cool. Remember that one. Yeah. Which one was it? It's a, it's a guy playing Cannon Rock on a guitar. It, the video was just Oh yeah, guitar. I remember that. Yeah, that was the first video yeah, I saw on YouTube. Problem. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I could even pinpoint the first one I saw. I think the first one I saw was that mushroom um, panda badger badger mushroom mushroom <laughs> oh yeah, yeah funny I'm like, like yeah. Shrig, that, that was on like world yeah uh, oh that was on youtube it uh it was everywhere it was like it, it, it was, was a flash yeah. thing and then like yeah. flash oh, that's got... right it was flash yeah actually youtube was flash back in the day too it was <laughs> flv video format oh yeah <laughs> So I'm looking at your video, Methyl Borate yeah. with Green Fire. Yeah, yeah. And that was my first video too, what? how to make Plagiarism. Green Fire. Uh, Wait, who made it first? It's, who made it first? It's so cool though. It's so cool. Like, so I guess you would have posted it in like 2013, right? Or yeah. But my video was what, yep. three seconds? I think it's literally a three second video. But... Yeah, five seconds, okay. 14 years ago. Yeah. Back in the good old days. <laughs> but it's like... So I didn't post on YouTube, but I posted my first video on Facebook and it was me blowing up a neighbor's letterbox. <laughs> um, and I'm so, so, oh so glad I didn't post it on oh YouTube. And I, I just I just looked at it on Facebook and that was 2008. Wow. Wait, so that's like a, <laughs> why oh, why did you blow up the neighbor's box? Ah, uh, cuz you know those you know those those pressure bombs you make where you just get hydrochloric acid and put um, it in foil yeah. and seal, seal yeah. it in a bottle. I was just like I was the first to start doing them at school, and then everyone was like obsessed with them. It's like, oh, this oh is my God. Boys so up you, shit. you taught. So we would just, oh, oh, so funny. we would just go around the neighborhood doing it, and then um, one of the neighbors was like a, a relative of someone at the school, of a teacher at the school. So we're like, oh, you have to do it. <laughs> Let's get him. Yeah. The shit thing was when I put it in the letterbox, it didn't, 
he didn't blow up. So oh. he just sat there for like oh, five no. minutes oh being like, God. fuck, what's going to happen? It's like the butterfly effect. Like someone will come an hour later and get blown up. So what do you do with the bottle? Well, we, we just kind of shook the, the mailbox and then eventually it triggered it. Okay, good. We would do dry ice. I feel like dry ice is so much safer oh, than... so that. much better. Yeah. Like, yeah. Not left with chlorine gas. Right. And fucked. We, would, we would throw them into storm drains. Like, oh, okay. There's oh, yeah. really, you know, like big, Boom, giant, yeah. like walk-in storm And they, they're so loud. We would do it. We were, dude, we were Fuck assholes. Dude. We would yeah. do it at like two in the morning. We were like high school being totally okay. At least and it's it like... And it would rattle the neighborhood. At least it's like loud, it, 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 like the loudness is like partially contained to the storm drain, right? right. You know, like I feel like the storm drain made it worse though, because it like would like, <laughs> yeah. funnel yeah, it, it out. It, oh, fair, <laughs> fair, yeah. <laughs> And like, like the, I think the reverberations would like build up too. So you almost end up with like a sonic boom effect where like a lot of the sound kind of is leaving at the same time. Oh, like it would have all left at once. Like, but the shockwave like builds mm. up. Like I don't know how much I, I should I should say here, but, but I will say that like yeah, well, you're on the right uh, podcast for yeah. it. So. Well, I mean, uh, it, it's like a, an explosion in like a like round tunnel is like pretty like like chest rattling, right? You get that like mm. quite some sort of like reson That's acoustic cool. resonance, you know and it's it's uh yeah that's something that could probably like break glass out of car windows you know but uh well yeah. maybe not with like a you know uh like hydrochloric acid aluminum foil one but like like a you know real explosives but uh yeah mm -hmm. or, or so i've heard <laughs> you're like you're like a more cooler nigel i like you <laughs> well, well, I, it's like, yeah it's good I, I yeah mean, you don't keep I, hot dogs in your pocket yeah well you know uh, nigel does a lot cooler uh organic synthesis and stuff you know it's like like even though like Wait, do, you, do you keep hot dogs in your pocket not usually not usually okay. like yeah it's like it's gonna be a long day i might get hungry you know maybe but yeah it's uh <laughs> Yeah, but I haven't made grape soda from gloves, right? So Dude, Nigel's getting bullied even when he's not on the podcast. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All the comments are about us bullying Nigel. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's probably why he's sitting out today as well. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm sick, sick of it, guys. Bullying. I'm sick of it. Yeah. I, don't, I feel like Nigel won't tell me how to make anything fun, but but Drake, Drake knows all the, the fun stuff. Well, it's like... Drake... Uh, I guess like a lot of my chemistry, at least stuff for like YouTube, it was very, uh, very like pyro based. I guess it's in my username, mm. you know. So it's like, uh, I mean, that's like everyone's kind of first love, I guess, is like blowing stuff yeah. up. But it never got old. Yeah. It never uh, no. like oh, it doesn't great. get old. It's like, good. Like I, you just get arrested for it now. It, well, it's like <laughs> although there, there are like the nice thing, at least in the U.S., is that like there are legal ways for unlicensed people to use like ridiculous quantities of explosives. So that's nice, you know, but uh, it's like, but, that's great. like, yeah, a lot of people, yeah, it's like their intro or whatever chemistry, like at what point does it become boring to people? Like, it, yeah. it's like so cool, right? Like, right. I don't, yeah. Mm. yeah I, it I makes chemistry exciting. Cause like we can make the boom bigger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's like, it's well, I feel yeah. like you, people like you and Nigel either like keep doing that forever, start a YouTube channel, or you just yeah. get into synthesizing drugs. Oh yeah, like, I mean, that's the obvious, I'm just gonna yeah. make ice and make billions of dollars yeah, the, for some Chinese drug lord. Yeah, the <laughs> obvious choice, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, Didn't it's, Cody's lab, Cody tried to make nitroglycerin. No, he did make nitroglycerin. Well, yeah, he did. I've made nitroglycerin, but uh, that's pretty. I've heard that's pretty hairy because you have to like keep it. Cool. Yeah, I mean, you don't want it to run away. Uh, I've actually, yeah, the first time I attempted it, it did run away in me, but I, I wasn't using, uh, like, huge quantities. What do you mean run away in you? Uh, so, like, uh, you're doing this reaction that releases heat, but when things get hot, a uh, reaction goes faster. I think, like, the average is, like, mm. doubles every 10 degrees Celsius. But regardless, so you can get to a point with some of these reactions where it just starts, like, running away on you and... Like you can throw ice on it, no matter the, yeah, the like, reaction goes like the faster. thermal the thermal conductivity <laughs> of the solution is not enough yeah. to actually extract heat from the inside of the solution. Oh my god! And at that point, terrifying. you run, well, you just run, you know, like because it's yeah. like nothing stopping it, right? So it's like a melt. It's like a melt. It is. Yeah, melt yeah, down yeah. Basically, yeah. but chemical. But uh, like the faster sick. it goes, the faster it goes, the faster yeah. it goes, the faster it goes. Positive <laughs> feedback, <laughs> yeah. But uh, well, how how long ago was that? Oh, long time. But even before my YouTube channel, actually. But uh, I, I just remember like because like the thermometer starts like creeping up, it starts flying up. And I'm like, oh, like my first thought was to throw an ice, but then like 
started shooting out some brown gases and I just, you know, got out of there. But, <laughs> <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> well, this reminds me of your uh, exploding underwear. Bit. Yeah, we, we tried uh, we tried nitrating under. Well, we did. We successfully nitrated underwear, but um, it uh, we realized that we had to put the underwear in very slowly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, well, well, you're just using it must have been pure cotton, though, right? Uh. Oh, I think whatever underwear, yeah. whatever. It, it's the yeah. same. It some elastic in there. It's, yeah, a, it's the same elastic. kind of reaction, but. Uh, so it would. It basically like what would happen is it would start the nit nitric acid would start fuming. Yeah. Like pretty aggressively, and then it would. So we'd have to like back off and then like slowly like introduce it. Even though it was in an ice bath and everything, if we were like yeah. stirring it, maybe it wouldn't have been a problem. But this is also like on a porch in a piece of yeah. Tupperware with a glass jar we got at Walmart <laughs> and the underwear we got at Walmart and the acid that we bought at Walmart. The nitro, oh, uh, were you using like a, a so nitrate? Cat, so like drain cleaner, yeah, and then potassium nitrate. Oh, uh, okay. So uh, it was it was really chunky too because it had all the salt in yeah, it. Yeah, so. the potassium sulfate. It, it, it's yes. funny. The, uh, the funniest thing about that reaction to me is that you're using nitric acid as a base there, which is just kind of always – like nitric acid will like burn the crap out of like a lot of things but in that reaction you're actually using it as a base and i, I thought that's, that's weird yeah that's, that's, See, that's like, how i know i was way underqualified to do the reaction because <laughs> no, i have no I, idea I what mean, talking to, about. to be fair like i, I was doing this like I, I attempted reactions like this before like i had like a solid understanding you know but not yeah. that i recommend it for people watching or listening but uh yeah it's, it's fun yeah, it's a fun way to do it yeah it's uh, how do you yeah. How do you feel about like the balance of, I mean, this kind of leads into why I asked you to watch the x-ray video. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> oh, there, there's like a balance yeah. between doing things that are like dangerous and then like sort of telling people that they can't do things that are dangerous. Yeah, Cause like if I think that... about my childhood, I like doing dangerous things. Same. And if I didn't have the opportunity to like do them, I probably wouldn't have learned how to do it better. It's not like you can go to school and learn any of this stuff. So like, yeah. do you yeah, feel really. like, like, you know, like, how do I say this? Um, I, I like know kids this is hard stuff. to ask. Like, it, it's hard right. to, it's hard because I, because even like if you could like perfectly word this question, I, I wouldn't even know how to answer this, right? Because it's like, mm. it, cause there's like, you know, whatever, if there's even liability, I, I don't know. But it's like, yeah, you, you don't want, you don't want people just doing, start off doing like crazy reckless things right off the bat. Like, like the most obvious example I would think of is, is like micro, is any project using a microwave oven transformer? Like, cause that like, it's easy to like follow yeah. some like instructional online, but it's also super easy to die. And that's like what kills yeah. any, like, mm -hmm. like if some early electronics hobbyist gets killed by the project, it's probably cause they messed with the microwave uh, transformer. Right. So, so it's it like, just like takes yeah. wall power and turns it into 2000 it's, volts. It's too easy. It's yeah. too it's, easy. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's too, terrible. yeah. Like it's things like that that are too easy to just like blindly follow and get killed. Like obviously like that isn't recommended, but then there's like, there's like some stuff in between where it's like, yeah, maybe like, uh, it's hard to say like, cause yeah, I learned a lot from doing things that were like dangerous, but controlled, you know, like I, I, I think we'd all you, you fall could into do that, right? Like a low voltage, high current supply with a microwave transformer. So you yeah. could like take the microwave transformer, cut the high voltage side, yeah. turn it into like a reducing transformer. And like there you've learned something, yeah, but and you've only made it safer. Yeah, yeah. That's like the one project with a microwave transformer that won't like insta kill you, right? Uh, right. Cause yeah, then it's like one volt, but like it can dump more than a thousand amps. And and that's fun. Right. Yeah. You know, you learn about transformers and, and uh, uh, you know, you stuff like that. Got a piece of metal real hot. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> I, know? I kind of, I kind of go through this too, like this uh, question in my head playing out. But then I usually for stuff I do, I can I can safely blame the, the kid if they get hurt on it because I'm like, <laughs> all right, if you hurt yourself with molten aluminum, that means that you you built a foundry, you built a oh yeah, you know, a jet to to melt the aluminum, you built a torch, you like you built tongs or what? Like this is on you. You this is what happens when you play with molten right. metal. Cause yeah. I, dude, I did that. Like I, I melted aluminum as a kid. I'd like save up cans, and I would use like a like a bean can, like a tin yeah. can. It's, it's that, easy to do. Oh, yeah. It's really easy to do. Like yeah. you can stick Just aluminum. Just a hairdryer. Yeah. But you and have so, to like, like you have to work toward toward right. hurting yourself. Right. Yes. And it's, yes. you know, it's not easy. And it's yeah. like if a kid hurts himself doing that, you're just like, oh, kids can't do this anymore. It's like it's like parents not letting their kid outside because it's like, oh, you no, might get hurt. Like stay oh, inside all day. Yeah. 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 No, I think I think the solution is you have to like tell kids like don't do it. 
Yeah, right. well, then you're I, like, but hey, that's the like kids a problem, that, uh, though, right? Because it, it yeah, that, that's a pr because I I know what you mean, and that's like the easiest way out, like in terms of like offsetting some like non-existent liability. But it's like because it's like you still want to encourage like doing like it's good to experiment, like like it's a great way to to find like you know a, like areas of science or engineering that are are interesting. Like for me, it was a huge deal. Uh, you know, like went to college and stuff for science. And you know these experiments were important, but at the same time, it's like you don't want to encourage like this reckless behavior or even like right. do what I say, not what I do kind of thing. It's it's like it, it, mm. that's a difficult one. That that's difficult. Right, because it, otherwise it's just no one's gonna explore anything. Because how do you otherwise how do you tell like oh you're only allowed to do these kinds of things? Yeah, you can't yeah, do those kinds of things. So like at least my approach is like if it's something really easy to get killed on, then I I kind of leave out some details that's like. Uh, you know, not like I'm hiding things per se, but it's not like mm. you can't just like follow, you know, just hook up these wires to a, a microwave transformer and like, and like right. you touch that, you die, right? So it's like I yeah. try to leave out details like that. Right. Yeah, leave that to the Russians. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, so, yeah. so the X ray video specifically has gotten like not a lot, but there's definitely a lot of people, and I knew this was going to happen, who are like upset about playing with the, the high uh -huh. voltage and yeah. the X rays. And it's like, you know, like 60,000 volts is dangerous, but it's also like manageable if you're appropriate with it. But like other, like like kids potentially seeing it, like am I supposed to not do stuff because kids will copy it? But like what kid is gonna get his hands, uh, his yeah. hands on a 60,000 volt power supply and an X-ray tube? Because it's, you know, I mean, that was like 600 bucks for all that stuff and I got it like a steal on the power supply. Well, so like it, what you know what do you do like what am i supposed to do yeah and, and you know that's uh, you know it's it's funny uh you know and i haven't i haven't played with ionizing radiation so i'm less familiar with like you know <laughs> he's uh, not that dumb uh, well it's like yes yeah, someday but when i have a better setup right but it's like uh out of well you know there's a few things here right like the, the like the ionizing radiation nerds like they have a very like th these aren't they don't want to just do a, a one and done Kind of project right like they they have right. a lot of you know ideas in mind and uh and they know like if, if you're you can't be haphazard about x-rays if you're going to do it more than just like once right or even right. like yeah. once you could in, you can insta fry yourself right but it's okay like, so you want to give give your take on uh, what i did in the video well okay you, uh, here's the so, thing here's the thing yeah. i of all the people on the internet who get mad at me the problem is there's a lot of noise there's a lot of people who have no idea uh, what they're talking about same and I, so i feel like like right now you're probably someone who definitely knows what you're talking about in regards to the safety the, like what would make you uncomfortable well i mean again like like i yeah ionizing radiation isn't something that that I've played with. So I'm really like less qualified to speak on this, but, but what, it's like, what would your concerns be? I guess, uh, radiation going to places, uh, you don't want, uh, not knowing like your exact dose. And again, this, this is like, like, I know like, uh, like you had very like short run times and stuff. And, uh, like in theory, like there's very low probability you were exposed to a really high dose. Right. Uh, right. But it's like, Again, at least what the uh, like ionizing radiation nerds would say is like you don't know what dose you just got. Like you don't have any legit uh, detection equipment, so it's like you know you're 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 you know playing with fire there. Uh, so at least that's like you know at least that's what I got from uh, from those kinds of nerds. So what would you what would what would you even do if you got like a high dosage? Like if you had a meter and you just realized that you got a huge dosage, like what would you do at that point? Oh geez, like. I mean, what's the procedure for uh, radiation poisoning? I mean, Will wants to know if he he's fishing to see if he should like increase his life insurance policy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at that point, yeah, you're, you're kind of screwed. I guess you just go to the doctor. But uh, yeah, it's it's hard to. Uh, uh, it, so it, if you have all the detection equipment, there's yeah. a chance that you still get irradiated, and there's like nothing you can do about it. Well, you can't do anything. It's more yeah, but like, you couldn't possibly the, the, give yourself that much with that little x-ray tube. Well, I, I guess the idea is, like, it's unlikely you're just going to get, like, totally cooked at once, right? But, like, it's the accumulated dose. Like, you may make a mistake and you get exposed to more than you should have. So now you don't right. play with x-rays for a while because you don't want to, like, right. get a big dose at once. I think that's, that's uh, like, that, that's, like, part of a risk for getting a bad injury. But so you think, do you think that it's the, the safety of the setup? I mean, in general, it is important, 
but it's more important if you're regularly going to be exposed to yeah stuff. yeah and, and like uh and again a lot of the complaints at least the ones that i saw and because i have people complain to me all the time too and a lot of times their complaints are they're total bull you know they like right. oh they don't know what they're talking about you know it's, it's sometimes maybe they are right but like a lot of the complaints were saying like oh if you have if you have an unshielded like x-ray tube out in the open like maybe it's going to encourage some other kid to go buy x-ray tubes and uh and do that which which seems unlikely but then you find on yeah. ebay all the x-ray tubes just disappeared so it's like right. <laughs> and, and, and it's but it, it, this actually happened because your video and uh no. Did it actually oh yeah well at least that's what uh some of the ionizing radiation nerds said but but at the same oh, shit. let's yeah, check this look, out i'm not but the thing is like i'm not completely innocent of this kind of stuff either like when i made a video about this uh this ridiculously powered tattoo remover like i like it blew up my camera uh like even without a direct hit it it blew up my camera like the eye hazard on this is just off the charts and yet when i posted that video they just sold like hotcakes on ebay it just like oh I my God. like the next day nice. they're gone you know it's just like oh man like uh so it's it's a but okay yeah. here's here's my here's my thought i was thinking about this the other day like people put their kids into like football which is like one of the oh. highest injury rates of any any sport right because you're literally just colliding with people they'll like they'll let their kids go dirt biking they'll let their kids go you know like like i don't know like yep. there's so many things that you can do that will just end you like yeah. you know like i, like, I uh, mean care to, my caretaker's brother Chelsea's <laughs> brother got point, a yeah. bad dirt bike accident where he he had a street legal dirt bike for a week mm. he pulled out he was driving down a street and someone pulled out in front of him and there wasn't enough time to stop so he collided into them and he spent like two weeks in the er and almost died and yeah. it's like it's like okay cool like he played it safe his whole life and then he did something which was technically legal and technically safe because he had his helmet on he had everything on but someone else did something stupid and almost killed him and so it's like, it, it, that's why? motorcycles you know it, it's like right yeah, yeah. So like, oh, like if, 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 uh, you know, doing science is too dangerous, well then so is playing football and so is oh, doing yeah. all these other I things. Mean, I, I agree. You see the new challenge? No, for, the for egg sure. crate, milk crate challenge? Like, oh yeah. That, yeah. That's oh, oh my God. One. Yeah. Like, like that, that, that's uh, just people scorpioning. Yeah. Scorpioning, just landing on their spine. Just like, yeah. It, it, for I, what reason? Like in general, I agree with this. It's just, I'm. I'm hesitant to Your mom wouldn't let comment. them play with x-ray tubes. Now yeah. look what they're up to. Yes, yeah, that, now they're, that's because if they would have been playing with x-ray tubes, they wouldn't have been on those crates, right? But nope. uh, <laughs> it's like, I guess I, I, I'm hesitant to comment on specifically the x-ray stuff just because it's it's right. not an avenue that I've personally right. experienced. But in, so general, I think, I think... yeah, I, I, in general, I agree with what you're saying where it's like people freak out about like some sometimes like like very manageable risks with, with some of these projects very manageable like the risk but but you can be smart about it and then you compare it to like football where you everyone just gets their brains like jogged around their head like right and it's just considered yeah. normal you know right, so, it, right. yeah yeah I, well, it's I, that I joker meme the, right yeah the, I, like have somebody, we seen what is the joker meme where it's like you know society does this blah 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 and then somebody does this and everyone loses their mind right oh like, yeah yeah it's it's like uh, society lets their kids play football and they get their brains scrambled but society let, it has a kid play with x-ray tubes and everyone loses yeah. their mind <laughs> <laughs> well that's why it's so strange for me hearing this whole discussion where all of you live in america my whole childhood was trying to recreate the things you could buy in stores like guns <laughs> and it's like, you guys are so used to that yeah um and it's like for me as a kid that was almost like that's the most dangerous thing yeah. that's what i want to make of course then you guys just accept it you're just like, oh, it's so normal. You can just fucking blow away someone's head if you want yeah, to. You, you, can go, you can show up to school and get obliterated by some lunatic with a gun, but you're not allowed to go home and play with an x-ray. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah no, that's no. why I'm like, what is this uh, discussion? I, I, feel like, I feel like the x-ray stuff, like, because, yeah, I mean, you can make x-rays and, like, cook someone in, in the apartment over, right? Because, right? like, it shoots through a yeah. lot of stuff. But like, uh, I guess you don't buy a gun and start yeah, yeah, shooting yeah. your right. directions yeah, yeah. in the air. Yeah. Other than people do that. People out. straight up do that though. Yeah, like, like, I have a family yeah, friend who me. had. <laughs> yeah, I have a family friend who had to patch holes in the top of their motorhome that was uh, parked in a storage lot because of like a New Year's celebration where bullets were, were kind yeah. of punched a couple holes in it. Yeah. Okay, so, it so general speaking, or like like on the record, everyone here probably agrees playing with X-rays is not safe. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you can get caught. Like that's it. At the like the yeah. at the end of the day, like it none of this is safe. Yeah, like I mean, lasers I mess with are not safe. You know, right. like any, I mean, yeah, we no. we all play with with uh, things that like could go horribly wrong, but we right. we we manage the risks. 
And if somebody sends me an email, because I've gotten a couple emails that I haven't responded to, if somebody sends me an email asking how to do this, it means that you are not qualified to do yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, that's funny yeah, you yeah. say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause it's like, yeah. yeah, if you're asking me this, like then yeah. yeah. I'll fill in the blanks. Mm. Like if you if you have a question and you feel like coming to any of us to ask for advice, it means that you should absolutely walk away from this project because you probably are gonna hurt yourself. Yeah, usually yeah. there's a few rare instances where it's like I can tell they're asking like a specific detail. They got some project, you know. Yeah, that's right. And, but and that, that person will know. They'll know to bulldoze through that barrier. It's yeah. Like if you're if you're asking for general advice. Like, yeah, just real do vague. Don't yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah, like you're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah. Um, just especially... describing my whole channel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, I dude, I don't know. That's the thing is, it's just like, what is your personal risk tolerance? And like, you know, I think all of us mm. at this point are old enough to recognize that what you're doing is dangerous. And yeah. Like every time I turn the the power supply on, the wires become snakes. Don't touch the wires. <laughs> oh yeah, fair. <laughs> don't touch fair. the wires. Like, don't get anywhere near the wires. Like, I know how far it, it can arc. You know. It's funny. I remember you said something about like where it's high voltage, so like everything becomes a wire, and like it'll probably kill you. But it, it's funny because right. like yeah, you got like a lot of things become wires or a lot of things become capacitors. But I uh, play with those mm. high voltage DC sources. Like you turn them on, and it's just like you just feel in the hair because it just yeah. sucks tars out of the air, you know. Dude, and, uh, I I insulated weird... everything, and it didn't matter. Oh, like unless yeah. the whole thing is submerged in oil, like it was coming out of every single. Like yeah. I had the whole <laughs> like after like I cut to it done, I had I had insulated the entire high voltage wire except for the termination on the tube, which you like the only way to do that is like either paint something on it or submerge it in oh. oil, which is why it's submerged in oil. You can use a lot of people are telling me. Super oh, the cool. oh yeah. yeah, see that's that's probably what I should do. <laughs> Get some of that stuff. Um, yeah. But it's like it, like I, it took a second to realize it, but. Every time we would try to turn the power supply off, we were getting shocked. And it, I realized that it yeah. wasn't the power supply shocking. Well, yeah, it was the it field. Was, uh, like it, pulling charge out of me. you. It was me shocking Come the on. power supply. Because the power <laughs> oh, supply wow. is grounded and it just sucked. And the high voltage part sucked charge either out of you or threw it in you. Yeah, because I get that right? with my with my voltage multipliers. Yeah. It's like you go to touch it, like, bam, you sh you know, you get shocked. I was trying to ground everything. I was like, okay, it's going to be, it's going to make things safer if I ground everything. And I realized that like grounding everything was causing problems because it was causing those arcs to happen. And so like, like on the Like a more inside, direct path for- Right. So like, mm. right. And so in like the interim, like the whole machine is disassembled at this point, but it's like, I just ended up using cardboard instead of like soup cans because cardboard doesn't build up charge in the oh, yeah. that cans of beans and soup do. Yeah. You guys, I saw <laughs> that, like that the cans arcing over. Yeah. I, I literally Perfect. had, I had jumper cables going from the cans to the shield, which was grounded to try and see like, okay, well maybe I can just like, you know, pipe the, uh, the electrons off so it doesn't arc. And it just like, no, it just nothing mattered. Like, I ended up just, <laughs> having to replace them yeah but i mean the plan I'm also i yeah. mean your high voltage power supply was also current limited so right. i wasn't i wasn't oh, worried yeah. about getting that's, a horrible shot because it could only deliver like oh that's a good you know, question that's it five um, milliamps. that's a big what do you think no two milliamps yeah two milliamps and it was a if, it was a multiplier so it wasn't like a constant two milliamps either like it would load down and go down to like you know 20, right. So if volts. you if you well if you went over uh, two milliamps. So if you were to just straight up touch output and ground, would that kill you? I mean, probably not. It, it would like, just suck really bad. Probably like, uh, yeah. If, if it's limited to two milliamps, yeah, yeah. like it'd suck, but probably wouldn't kill you. Like you probably need quite a bit more than that to kill you. Do you think that potentially like the capacitance in the coax cable would be enough to give you like a mm. peak? That was well, enough to kill you? Oh, yeah. Uh, extremely unlikely. Because then it's funny because uh, it's not just current that'll kill you. There's a lot of other factors because duration matters. Like, in you, I guess, in I don't know how dry it gets where you are, but uh, like in winter, not you could dry. like rub like a cloth or something and then shock something. Like, you you might get like amps. Like, that discharge yeah. may be in the amps. It's just for like nanoseconds. So you have to have right. like, yeah, well. you know, enough energy to go okay. into it as well. Because it, they say like my understanding is that to to get up to stop your heart you need like 15 milliamps but then you probably need it for like seconds yeah, pro yeah, yeah usually like a couple usually. of cycles or something so or at least like a full cycle right okay so the, so basically the chances of like to kill yourself you have to have a really 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 beefy current source at enough yeah. voltage to, to yeah. push that like 15 milliamps through your heart yeah yeah 
Okay. See, that to me is like, that's what I was thinking. I'm still not going to touch the output of it, <laughs> but it's like, even that makes it so much less like, yeah, yeah. concerning that then people make it out. They just see the big arc and they're like, oh, like this is super dangerous. Oh, the, 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 like, the one caveat to that is, is uh, yeah, like the supply itself probably isn't that dangerous, but you can turn it, you can turn a safe power supply into something that's lethal if you have something with enough capacitance. Like if you hook that right. power supply up, up to Kevin's capacitor bank, let it be run for like a day, you know, or whatever, or, right. or even less really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like then, that, then now it's, it's lethal, right? Uh, but, it's like uh, filling up a swimming pool with water, but instead of water, it's electrons. <laughs> yeah, 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 basically, yeah. I filled myself right. up but, with electrons using that power supply. I sat yeah. on top of a wood table and I, I held the, I think it was the negative end of it. And, no, you and all my hair. End. Oh, it stands up. Yeah, like that. It would just stand yeah. up. Yeah. So we, but we and, to do that, we slowly increased the voltage. Yeah. So we didn't do it. It wasn't just like touch the high voltage. It was like, let's slowly bring it up. Oh, smart. We were yeah. Scared if, if we, if we instantly did it, I would feel like a, you know, a big change in voltage and I would get a shock. Right. So right. I don't know if that, but. And were you isolated from when ground you turned, then? He was, yeah, yeah, he I was, was sitting, sitting on the yeah, table. Yeah. But uh, when he turned it off, I got a huge shock because it must have like, I think it shorts the supply to ground. Oh, and since so I was, okay. I was positive. Oh. It like instantly, you know, sucked all your electrons me out. to ground. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That shock. would, that would do it. Yeah. yeah that <laughs> That's would be hilarious. So I don't know. I feel like a lot of people online, like I, like reading comments is horrible because it just, it feels like people are really loud, but they actually have no idea what they're talking about. Like, yeah. like so many people think that the x-rays were like radioactive. They think that it's like an, a radioactive. Source. Oh yeah. It, it, I mean, yeah. Most of the criticism, you can just throw it out the window. Right. But occasionally right. like you, you get some comments are like, you know, maybe, you know, maybe this guy is, uh, yeah, something, uh, you know, <laughs> right. I should consider. Right. But, right. Uh, right. But usually it's like, the ah, thing they're is you stupid. Can... Yeah. You can say anything with enough authority to convince other people that, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. people will think that you're being unsafe, even if, you know, it's unfounded. Right. That's what I hate do, the most. Do you guys reckon Creo say in the Russian channel? Do you reckon uh, he kind of crosses that line a bit? Yeah. Because I, I watch so. his videos and I'm like, especially when they go swimming in just radioactive water in Chernobyl, you're like, that's just, well, it's, it's suicidal. Well, it's like, maybe, but I think it's for show. I think they know what they're doing for the most part. And some of the stuff may be a bit uh, a stretch of the imagination. Uh, like after seeing you the, don't exaggerate it. Yeah, well, I mean, like I, I like that. I like them, but it's like, the, like the what, real obvious one is they build some like magnetron like death ray thing. That it, it's totally fake. Yeah. Like diffraction, like and they, yeah, like that. it cannot beat diffraction, and, and like there's no way that what they built is real because that like violates and the kite getting struck by lightning. Yeah, like I I, I wanted to believe. But it, it's, I know I don't believe it. Like, it's, and I want to do it now. Though I want to do it legit. You know, I, I what was that video? Uh, what was that one? They they like uh, he... uh, wait. Uh, they have like a, a kite uh, with a trailing wire that they uh... apparently get struck by lightning. But uh... Uh, so, if anybody doesn't know what Creosan is, it's like this Russian YouTube channel where they do like ridiculous experiments like all the stuff that that makes the safety nerds go off in our comments but like oh it appears God. to be 10 times worse like mm. they did like a live fluoroscopy with an x-ray tube <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think that was like real. that's not that's yeah, that definitely real, real. That's that and they were they were filming in a room and it like wasn't even that dark in the room which means that they were absolutely <laughs> like busting Bust x-rays off, off. <laughs> yeah they, and so i forgot about that they, one yeah that's they legit. translate the, the videos get translated into english so there's like a voiceover and it's like it is mm. like the most kind of unique weird style of video it. it's it is it, great i just feels like you're watching like 1950s yeah. like tv or something it's i like, would this is hilarious i wouldn't yeah. want to be in the same room as these guys <laughs> oh like, no like, the time it's life. a certain vibe you know that they certainly they certainly do that right you know but mm. uh yeah, yeah. Th that one was just like oh oh man like that was oh <laughs> <laughs> oh like, that was oh bad. Oh my god. Yeah, that was right. that was crazy. Like yeah, like comparatively towards like the setup you had, like that's just like a different level, you know. So what do you oh. what do you think about the idea of like Creosan, if they want to, they can just like kill themselves doing this stuff? Like whose place is is it for somebody to come in and tell me that I'm doing something bad, um, even if I if I recognize the danger to myself? Well, I mean, I, 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 of course, I don't know what all the laws are because I'm sure there's right. a lot of fun things. But yeah, it's like, 
generally I, but this I get, is america yeah of it course like <laughs> if i want to do something that risks my life and nobody else's right then it's like then let me do it right if i'm not harming other people mm. i should be able to you know do things like that you know like what's right. to stop me from irradiating myself if i you know truly desire it right, i don't know right. yeah <laughs> Because uh, sometimes <laughs> it, it feels like people are less concerned about you and they're less concerned even about like the the proper, oh, like you're, ch you know, having kids do the wrong thing. And it's almost like they just want to complain. Like they just, oh, yeah. like, I like you're dumb. Like I'm smarter than you. Like that's what it feels like mm. most of the time. Like, oh, yeah. I know better than everybody else. Like they don't actually care. They just want to be right. No. And, and that's like, what it feels like. Because like, yeah, in, of course you get comments you know, like that where it's just like it's so obvious that you know that they don't they don't know what's going on you know right like you're an idiot i hope you died doing this oh, like, yeah. why am i an idiot if you think i'm gonna die but then you want me to die uh, so then i should keep doing well, it like what I, are you talking about i, I get comments so you don't like care that. about myself right so you yeah. don't care about me yeah. like you, <laughs> you yeah, should encourage I get stuff me like that. that yeah for sure yeah it's like i hope you die doing this stuff you know it's like oh thanks <laughs> like cool like thanks man <laughs> can, can i just don't understand leaving comments like that because yeah, I, I, I don't leave comments <laughs> I, I've never left a hate comment in my life. I don't get that well, personally offended by anything online. I wouldn't say I've never left a hate comment. <laughs> okay, I, I want to know these hate comments. But it's like we have to deserve. Do you have it, any right? YouTube? Do you have any beef with anybody on YouTube? Oh, uh, not. I wouldn't say so. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't say I have like a specific beef with with anybody. Um, the commenters. No. Yeah, well, yeah, it's like mainly the commenters. It's funny. I actually got emailed by some guy organizing an MMA event for uh, YouTubers, but it's like I, I don't even have, like I would definitely do something like that. But you would like, you would probably kick someone's ass. <laughs> well, I would, I would. I mean, I would definitely do something like that. But it's like I don't even have any like real beasts with anybody. But uh, oh, are no, you like a, a black belt in jujitsu? I have, I have a brown belt. Yeah, I have, whatever I have a, whatever the belt is. Yeah, I have, I have a, a brown belt in jujitsu and a in a brown belt in judo. And, and I've done a lot of other martial arts too, but it's funny because like I, I know with like there's all these like celebrity boxing matches like uh, I I like the idea of MMA, but uh, it's like I don't even. We should do a science one. I would I would. Oh yeah, that'd be that. awesome. Uh, that'd be hilarious. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like uh, uh, it's it just funny because I mean like do you guys have beefs with other channels? Like do you have any like real like hate where you just don't like you just really don't like uh some other. Um... There's, there's people that I avoid. I don't like I don't like you because you can kick my ass. <laughs> yeah, that's also that's also true. <laughs> he actually could kick each of our asses like in a row. Like we'd line up and one by one beat the crap out of each other. Just us. just choke us out one by one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would not want to fight. I would not want to fight you. <laughs> but, I don't know. I, I don't like Nigel either. <laughs> just I just feel like bullying him. Yeah, I guess we haven't done enough bullying to uh, satisfy a typical episode of this, right? Yeah, I don't like Nigel because he gets, he gets more. Uh, I don't know. Positive comments. Yeah, yeah exactly. everyone likes. Everybody he likes more him. Fans. Right? I hate. He gets him. asked right. out more yeah. than I do. Yeah, screw you, Nigel. <laughs> yeah, he gets. Did you see that he got tagged in one of the? He's, it was like a Twitter Twitter post of of beta males. And it was oh! like, if you look like this, oh! and Ni a picture of Nigel yeah. was in it, oh, and I, 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 ta I tagged oh him in gosh. it. But the comments were really nice. The comments were like, "Don't you dare hate on Nigel okay, like yeah. this." Like people were like, "I fucking love Nigel." Good, good. Uh, <laughs> we got to bring him down a couple of notches. People are too positive about him. Yeah, because yeah, he's like, everyone loves him. He gets a ton of views, right? So it's like, nah, okay, I gotta beef with him now. Yeah. Come down to our level. Yeah. <laughs> Except maybe Alex. Your videos have been popping off recently. Yeah, they have. Yeah, but I think, I don't know why. I'm just because I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> it's like, fuck, I need, to see, I need to see this guy <laughs> disappear before he disappears. Whatever this horrible next machine is. So you're going to have to start live streaming your videos so that you yeah. can die in video filming. I, I love it that the comments I get, though, are just so different to yours because you guys are in your own realm a little bit of an expert like like you know people see you and think oh they're educated in some way <laughs> mine is just like, i don't i don't get any of that i don't get any people saying no you shouldn't do this it's just like people <laughs> just like uh whatever like you get a crazy guy playing with shit yeah it's like... I, I think at a certain point when it's like it's so like especially with mechanical stuff people are just like oh like obviously this is bad 
And like, what I is can, someone going to do? Say, this is dangerous. You shouldn't do that. And you're like, yeah, I'm hiding behind this wall right here. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah it's like, like I, I know this. I'm death. as scared as right. you are. Like, I think yeah. there's something worse about like the more mysterious science stuff, like high voltage yeah. chemistry, where like people are like, yeah. you, you're doing something and you don't know that it's dangerous. And it's like, no, I do know that it's dangerous. I'm just an idiot in the same yeah. way I would turn a lawnmower upside down and throw fruit into it. <laughs> <laughs> I think electricity is definitely one of the hardest, you know, concepts to, to understand, like out of all the sciences, electricity and chemistry, they're yeah. very unintuitive. Yeah. Like you can't see anything like, and it's open-ended. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like it's, I would say that, especially with the electricity, cause it's like, it's all just, you know, people make all these like, uh, like comparisons to like water or something, but it doesn't even really describe it well. Right. It's just like, it's right. its own thing that it just, it is that way that it, it, it just is. Right. So it's like, yeah. it's less like tangible. Like, yeah, you can build circuits and learn that way, but it's still like less obvious where you see like mechanics and I suck at mechanics, but it's even like I could see two gears moving like, okay, that turns one way. And, right. You know, like but, it's, it's going to be more difficult to measure the highest temperature you could make than measure the highest voltage you can make. Like, how do you like measuring 60,000 volts is going to be a much bigger challenge than measuring what, like 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, well, I guess like, uh, wait, which one do you say is harder? like like measuring high both. voltage you, you can do it both but i would say like oh you can go buy a, you can go buy a high voltage probe it's like who sells sixty thousand volt like high voltage probes like i was looking like uh, nice uh I think a divider Keysight. yeah i mean but you'd have to make it yourself probably like, yeah but it's I like like i don't know it's not but that like bad Keysight, <laughs> but if you want to go buy one well for you it's not bad but if you want to go <laughs> buy one like it's going to be harder to find Fair. Just getting like a thermocouple that's rated for you know like thousands of oh things. yeah fair, fair yeah it's it's it, like yeah especially for like the high voltage stuff yeah it's it's less just like off the shelf you just take something and it makes right. sense right yeah that, like that's... you have to figure it all out yourself like yeah, i talked yeah. i was talking to a guy i think it was someone at keysight and i was like hey do you guys uh you know do you have any like high voltage probes and he's huh. like well we used to have we used to have a forty thousand volt probe but the marketing team or someone basically made them discontinue the product because they didn't want to have like the associated liability of yeah. the product rated for forty thousand volts <laughs> and i was like oh Okay. Yeah. Like I'm like, sense. do you have one that does sixty thousand volts? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I mean, if I need to uh, do a probe like that, I just use a ton of resistors, just like a solder, ton of resistors, and line the, and and uh, measure it that way. But uh, do you just like, I mean, once they're once they're in line like that, like you're not really gonna get any arcs or anything, right? Yeah. And, or usually, like, then I'll pot them in like wax or something. So okay. Yeah. Because that's that's like something for this power supply. It's like there's no there's no current output that you can read electronically. So you'd have oh, to build your own voltage. I mean, honestly, like like part of the problem is like turning the supply on and getting consistent current out of it when the load is like big enough to draw more than that. Oh yeah. Um, you have to like, you have to watch the needles because otherwise you like, you overdraw the supply and the voltage drops and then it just stops doing anything. So it's like, you'd have to measure the, the voltage to make sure that it's not dropping below what you need if you want oh. to control it like remotely basically like some of them have remotes but like this is old and cheap like, oh yeah have well, a remote you know and then it's like well you could build your own but, like i'm not going to build my own powers but like i'm just going to buy one that i know is yeah, going to work fair fair yeah like i would i would kill myself trying to build one i'm not going to do that like, uh, i know i know my limit yeah fair fair and i guess see that's another that brings up an important point about knowing your limits with things like like there's certain things i don't mess with that like that other people are cool with you know it's just like yeah knowing like i don't know enough about that i'm, I'm not gonna mess with that mm. so that that's like knowing your limit is an important thing for doing hobbies like these and uh, yeah like I, I feel confident enough to deal with sixty thousand volts you know because i used to deal with like twenty five thousand for the the laser tube that i used to have oh and yeah so like sixty thousand it's like it's it's a lot of the same rules you just have to be more careful yeah but it's like and again, it all depends on like what kind of current it can supply. Like right. I'm more scared of a microwave transformer than your 60,000 volt power supply that's limited at two milliamps, you know, because the microwave right. transformer will kill me, you know, or that one probably wouldn't. Right, right. Drake, yeah. Styroparo has a, a, a Discord server. Oh, boy. I don't know, if, yeah. if, I should, I don't know <laughs> if we should plug this or not. I don't know if you want a bunch of random people showing up. Maybe no, can... because then they'll learn things that could kill them, and then that would be well, very bad. Well, they can't, because actually he has, like, you know, for example, the, the advanced laser section and the high voltage section. You can't just go uh... go to those because, you know, you don't want people going to those and killing themselves. You have accident. to get approved. To so, the, yeah, there's, like, a yeah. Yeah, certain approval process for, for posting in those just because it's, like, 
Yeah, j just because it's like it's like, cause, yeah, and again, this is it, it always it's it, and it, there's never a right answer, but it's always right in that fine line with you don't want to just provide someone with an, enough information that they can just go kill themselves with it, but you still want to encourage like because there, there's these like smart people that want to learn you know this cool stuff. It's cool, right? So it's like yeah, right. it, yeah. it's finding that it's finding mm. that happy medium that it's just it's so hard to determine, and everybody has strong opinions on it. Like damn it. You know, right. it's so hard to make everyone like agree on that kind of stuff. I just do. I think if, if you can get a kid excited about anything science related, like it's a That's huge a disappointment win. to like deny mm. a kid their excitement oh, yeah. or it's like, no, you're not allowed to do that because yeah. it's dangerous. But it's like, yeah, like they're excited about something that like, this is yeah. going to make them take their math class more seriously. Yes. It's gonna make them take their science class more seriously. Yes. So, like, like, no, we we don't do experiments. We only learn the tools to do experiments. Oh, yeah. And you can't do that experiment, even though it's exciting to you. Because it's just like, ah, oh, give me a break. Yeah. Like, dude, you know, oh, yeah. like back in the day, people would have like 10 kids and like eight of them would die. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like it just like, <laughs> I, I mean, like they would. Yeah. They would get some. Survival of the yeah, like seriously, <laughs> like, it, like, dude. Well, and yeah. nowadays it's like, you can't oh you can't the, the dying is bad it's like yeah. dude you know how much technology yeah. we have thanks to death <laughs> yeah like we, that's how we got yeah, people exactly. like michael faraday and, and vaporizing and, kilograms of right. uranium yeah. in a giant laser <laughs> like we used to dude. get shit done imagine <laughs> like oh day. we we cancel all our space programs because of like the challenge it's, of the shuttle explosion. Yeah, it's like oh well, i guess we just don't go to we, we, just, don't do space we just give up anymore. now yeah we just give yeah. up yeah right but it's like, like you still uh, don't want kids dying though so it's like right, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> is that what you're advocating for Will? i i <laughs> honestly dude strange. i think that we just you know every once in a while we just gotta you know take the hit with a couple you know dozen kids because it's too many bad just kids. have more kids and just, then yeah, yes. you can get rid of them. I, I think, we need to have more kids and less rules like i, I think it like yeah yeah really because that that it all balances itself out in the end right but i think it like kevin's yeah. dangerous uh toys video and, well, yeah, Will, you're in there too, but uh, yeah, just, just like the, my, yeah. my RCXD. <laughs> like, <it was>, yeah. like, <laughs> uh, that, that was that was pretty funny. It's like, yeah, it probably stimulated a lot of creativity. I yeah. know, but that's yeah. the thing. We didn't show them. We did not tell them what was inside of the no. bomb inside of the car. And I was getting uh, messages like, "Hey, mm -hmm. how how do you how do you make the the exploding mm -hmm. RC car?" Uh -huh. I'm like, if you have to, uh -huh. if you have to I ask said to somebody on uh -huh. Twitter. If you yeah. have to ask, you shouldn't be making this. And they said, yeah. that's very rude. I expected better from you. <laughs> like, what? It's a bomb. <laughs> like, it's, it's a, it's, you try yeah. the like, no, I'm not just yeah. going to hold your hand and teach you how to build this, right? <laughs> yeah. You're uh, not going to have any hands left to hold yeah. by the time you're done. <laughs> Oh, Dude, yeah. I'd rather I'd rather a kid play with high voltage than explosives. Like, I, like actual explosives are so I dangerous. I it, you think so? I disagree. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, I played with a lot of explosive things when I was young, but I I didn't touch high voltage till I was in my twenties. It's just like, uh, and again, it depends on like knowing your boundaries. Like chemistry was a lot more intuitive to me than electricity. But yeah, like right. I was doing the explosive crap really young, like really young. But the electricity, like, cause you just touch something and. I guess that can happen with with it's energetic dying. chemicals too, but like it's it's easy to insta die from electricity. All right, here's here's a better idea. If, what if we if have you... a forum that teaches everybody everything, but there's different videos that have been produced that showcase horrible, 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 horrible things happening. Like it's like, oh, we've got a there's a machining forum, but in order to get access, you <laughs> could watch videos of people being sucked into a lay that one and, RPM. And Slowly answer the like, question. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They have a quiz afterwards to make sure they saw every detail, and they yeah, have to go back yeah, exactly. to watch it. To yeah. See it. yeah. Estimate how many, how many liters of right. <laughs> how many liters of blood were extruded from this guy as he wrapped around the the, the oh, my, oh man. You have to have PTSD and be like physically <laughs> shaking to be able how to many, do it. How Seriously. many fingers did Johnny have left after he played with the flash powder? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Like that's yeah. the common one. You're like, I don't even think people are surprised at, at those so, kinds like, of accidents. It, if you gave a 13 year old kid a microwave oven transformer and a pound of flash powder <gasps> They they would probably kill themselves with a the microwave oven transformer yeah. if they didn't blow their hands off with the flash powder first. Yeah, that, they're, that, they're plugging the transformer in with their nubs that they have left from the flash. Yeah, powder. yeah. I, I, you see what I'm saying though? I think that like, a kid would be it'd be easier to make the flash powder do something really bad. I I'd, like you I can find know. like the, I think you would just blow off an arm. You wouldn't stop your and, heart. And that's the thing. Uh, that's the same level of bad. No, it's, though. it's, no, not. it's not. Like I, I will say, it's not. Like there's like I remember finding a paper that just went through like uh, uh instances of people dying from microwave transformers and, and like 
they were able to find like 25 in the past few years just from like news articles there's probably a lot more than that you know and like you, you won't find 25 people that died from pyro like i guess from like mm. making but you know, they'll get maimed things. yeah they get maimed right but yeah. they're not dead right so it's okay. like i don't know yeah no i agree i think um i definitely think that people like they complain about safety i think what they just need to do is they need to instill a very healthy amount of fear into people like like you need to be very aware of the absolutely horribly realistic consequences that you can face doing this stuff yeah a healthy fear is probably the safest way to approach it. yes it's like recognizing yes. how bad it could be yes and how close you are to that situation mm -hmm. and then the instant you know that you're going to be like, all right, screw this. I'm going to walk away from it if you don't feel qualified. Or if you're like, I'm I'm willing to take the risks, then you're at least aware of why yeah. you need to be super careful. For sure. But maybe the lack of safety comes from the lack of education as well because it's mm -hmm. almost like you give you give the kids a little bit of a taster, mm -hmm. which makes them want to go do it themselves yeah. instead of showing them the whole right. process and how to properly do it yep. safely. Yep, yep, yep. It's like... And people would probably be upset. Yeah. People would be upset at a full tutorial without realizing that the full tutorial probably is better, like you know, safety inducing. It, than... it depends, right? It, that's. I, I feel like <laughs> there's there's no like hard answer for most of this stuff, right? No, yeah. Because like like people have died from like following you know tutorials using you know microwave transformers. You know, like you make these cool figures on wood, yeah. but like you touch it, you die, and, and it just. Yeah, it's, it's and a hard. lot of people that die from it have been doing it for a while too. Yeah, yeah, good yeah. point. That, yeah, yeah. Anything's dangerous if there's one mistake yeah. that you can do that can kill you. People are gonna die. It's like with rock climbing. It's like oh yeah, oh yeah. Hook onto the wrong rope, you just fall 100 meters and you die. Did you? It's you like, guys know there's this whole organization that's run. By, actually, a lot of governments have them. It's an organization where they give people weapons and send them into other countries to <laughs> to kill each other. Well, I like. <laughs> I, I, might, I, I might have heard. And, and these uh, are like 18 year old oh, kids yeah. In the oh yeah yeah, yeah so they give 18 year old these, yeah. kids guns I think I've heard and they that. they literally train them and instruct them to go and shoot these guns at each other and and a lot of them die Tanks. a lot of them die yeah. sometimes they get blown up blown up you know but in Training. my humble opinion you know that's worth the risk as yeah. opposed to playing with high voltage like, that's like, it's okay when the government does it yeah oh, okay, i do it i mean yeah there's a, a lot of comparisons i mean you can make like that but uh but yeah, they get paid, like, so it's okay. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so, they get paid. Yeah, and it's like, because <laughs> even then, it's like, because there's still like a lot of marketing to get people to go into those yeah. sorts of yes. uh, positions. You oh know? my god! Yeah, so it's like, what? Like, where's but, the video saying but, don't do this? Yeah, well, it's like. Yeah, exactly. But again, but again, there's like benefits, right? Like it's like same thing, and again, it, it, it's a different field. But like, yeah, like right. I, I play with high voltage stuff. I learn, but if I like join the military, there's. Like there's some real benefits. Like I, you know, I can learn some like ridiculous trade, get some job training, you right. know. But I might get blown up, you know. I might like right. get shot and die, or I might have like. You also might get to blow trauma. somebody up. Yeah, yeah, you might. Yeah, have to blow, blow up ten that, children right? as well. Yeah. So right. it's like, <laughs> That's, it's like, this is why I joined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything yeah. I ever wanted. <laughs> I'm not gonna let the kids do enough science to kill themselves. That's my job. <laughs> yeah. Really. Yeah. I don't. I mean, it's just like a you know pros versus con. It's like oh, yeah. you need a military to like protect your country, and it's like well, you need to do science to like you know. Oh yeah, like progress things. And like and that's such both a both of them are dangerous. Like especially in school, like uh, you don't get to like in school, you don't get to play with some of this crazy stuff that like actually might, uh, you know, it might start an interest in some kid that otherwise, like. Like if in science class you're just filling out worksheets and stuff, like how is that supposed boring, to be exciting, dude. right? Yeah, like all my yeah, science exactly. classes were so boring. Like I hated. So it. Boring. I, I did. I did. What was the most exciting ones? thing when they get sodium and put them in water? That's the most exciting. Even, yeah, thing. We, we we didn't do that. That's what we did, and I was like, oh, really? Like, we didn't yeah. we didn't do anything anywhere near that. Uh, well, I, really? Because yeah, we sucks. we did um pot potassium permanganate with what? with sugar. So like which one? Like oh, that like, was. It all created like a kind of, it was like a bit like a smoke bomb. And it's like, that's what kind of. Oh, okay. Into. Okay. So like. And I was like, that's great. Like that. That makes. That creates a spark. Yeah. That it. makes auto ignites cool. if you drop water on it. If you take dry permanganate and sugar and put water on it, it'll start on fire. I think that's what oh, it okay. did. Yeah. 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 But, yeah uh, that was fun. But uh, yeah, it's like, and I had a very good chemistry teacher in high school, even though we didn't do that many like crazy experiments. But, but again, I was interested in chemistry because of all the fireworks I had been making for years. So it's like I had that mm. already, like that already 
you know, showed me that, oh, chemistry is powerful and it's cool and I can use it to blow things up. So I'm going to pay attention to this guy, you know, and, and my teacher was very good, though. But uh, but it's a shame that we don't have like you don't get to just show like oh. these really cool things, you know, to get people like motivated. But, it reminds maybe me it's of... on purpose, so your government funnel. You have to join the army. Yeah, to see the cool stuff. So oh, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you want to see something blown up? You, you go to Iraq. <laughs> it, it reminds me of the movie October Sky, right? Where they're like, oh yeah, the rockets, just, like amateur rockets, and they're like they're launching rockets, and they're just like, and they, you probably don't even see half the real bad stuff that happened, where they're oh, yeah. like flying into groups of people, like yeah, you know, yeah. Like yeah. areas, and everyone's like, don't do this. Blah, blah, starting blah. fires. The they like. Right, like some of the guys ended up like you know being some of the you know like main people working on NASA programs. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's it, you see what I'm saying. I feel like, like they, oh yeah, like yeah. a lot of scientists like started like have their early years and just like blowing things up. You know, it was just like right. oh cool. You know, I can use this science powders, mix them, and make crazy things. You know, like a lot of inventors yeah. have. You know, like at least that was the beginnings. You know, or they may continue to do it. But like school, school sucks. We were talking about that before we started recording. Yeah. So like now is the time to, to bitch about school. Oh, like, yeah. I like, like I used to read all the time. Um, I remember in middle school, we had this program called like AR, like accelerated reader, where you'd read a book yeah. and then you take Oh, we had that it. too. Oh, you get points. Kill right? me. Oh, yeah, I used to read the principal. It, well, I mean, it was better than what happened in high school, though, where you had to like, you were assigned books and you had to like oh. highlight pages and stuff, right? Like I remember, um, you know, falling asleep in my bed like while like annotating it'd be like you know three in the morning four in the morning i have school the next day and um, like the highlighter i would just fall asleep and the highlighter would like just be on the bed sheet and it would like the highlighter would bleed out entirely <laughs> into the bed sheet so there were just like like blue and green and yellow stains <laughs> from the highlighter all, all over the yeah. sheet yeah and it was I like i hated that. reading like i remember reading a so tale of two cool. cities and I had literally no idea what was happening. I I, I had no idea who the characters were. I had no idea. It was like boring. too many things, too many. It was so boring and I just didn't care yeah. at all. And they're like, school sucks. They're like, you need to learn all these so things. Bad. And it's like, why? Like, I remember, dude, I was the guy who would like piss the teachers off because I would ask them these like questions that would probably break their yeah. brains. Like, <laughs> in trig, I would ask, you know, they would be like, oh, like this is the unit circle, whatever it's called. This is how all trigonometry is done. And I'd be like, well, how does a calculator do it? And they're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they should have taught you more on like how to use a calculator. Yeah. Right, like, yeah. How, to, how to use this. Like, you're not going to so have a calculator like, yeah. in your pocket when you're older, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I guess my I, ass. I, do. I will. Yeah. Yeah. Mrs. Jones, yeah. I do. <laughs> Tell so, me how to recognize the problem so I can put it into an online calculator. Yeah, really. It solves it for me. Yeah, it's like we. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Dude, yeah. I, don't, I just yeah, school sucks, and then you end up with a bunch of kids doing their own experiments, and then you know what? Maybe some of them die. So be it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we go to space and fly in the air. Yeah, like what's? I, oh, you know, what? I, I was driving home today, and I saw uh, one of the Osprey, the the military vertical takeoff, the VTOL. Oh, cool. Oh, fun. And it was flying right over the freeway. Didn't like I. I thought that was a drone that you posted. No, no, that was a big boy oh, I that was a see that. big airplane really bad picture i sent in our in our other server um and i'm Dude, like that looks i was like thinking a, a drone yeah i was thinking oh man it's great it's gonna crash onto the freeway and kill a bunch of people because like i'm pretty sure a bunch of people died while they while they were they developing did. The Osprey, oh like. of course and um, yeah it's like definitely when i when i was growing up as a i <laughs> 42 swear... what's that 40 Whoa. 42 Whoa. fatalities oh wow Yikes. Yeah, how many they crashed too? They probably all signed contracts that they couldn't sue them before they were involved in it. Yeah, right. yeah, that's the military. Yeah, that's I the, don't military. Think the military. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> wow. I feel like the how the military markets itself though, especially to, it always feels like you're gonna you're gonna go fight and fly planes and blow stuff up and shoot guns and drive tanks. Oh and, yeah, it's awesome. It's like a video Hell, game. Yeah, right? military's awesome. Yeah. So this this and is then, from 1991 you don't to get 2006. To do that. You know, future weapons. <laughs> And then so, the Navy came to me and they wanted to do an ad. And I'm like, all right, I got this. I know what made me want to join the military yeah. was blowing stuff up. Of course. So who I'm wouldn't? Like, you guys have a really big, a really big laser, right? Oh, yeah. Laser. Navy has great lasers. No, what? no oh, lasers. Like... No laser videos. What? And so, I said, okay, okay, well, what about your rail gun? You guys have a really cool rail gun. Yeah, I can build cool. a rail gun. I can test it against your rail yeah. gun. Yeah. No, we don't want to do any rail guns. We want to highlight our, our helicopter maintenance pilot program. Hey, like, are you cool? what? what? You get to fly around in a helicopter though. That'd be awesome. Yeah, well, but you're maintaining yeah. it, you're right. It's like 
and uh, I don't know, like it, it's funny because I have paintball, friends that paintball, a bunch of special ops versus us playing paintball. You know, it, like, it's, correct. but you, you're, you know, you do crazy science things. Like, yeah, let me play with the big laser. Mm. Like they got that big laws yeah. thing. They can like shoot boats and, and drones and stuff. Like, yeah. let, me, let me play with that. You know, right. They, they do a lot <laughs> That's of that what stuff people out see. here. There's a, uh, there's a bunch of islands, the, um, off the coast of Southern California. And one of them is purely dedicated to just absolutely like, blowing shit up. Oh, and, nice. and there's, there is a, a, a naval base right where we used to live. I mean, it's, it's close to us now. It's probably like, you know, 20 minutes away, maybe 30 minutes away. Um, right next to the, our old house we were renting where Michael and I were living with each other. And there is a building right on the water that is like three stories tall or four stories tall. And there is a door Kevin's like a gone. Kevin you still there My camera just died hold on there's a barn door that's at the very top of the building that looks like it's like 10 15 feet tall that like opens towards the ocean and, and what's that well, but just but I don't just know shooting what, dude I have, out of it. I have no idea what it is but why would why would this very like kind of discreet weird warehouse shaped building like like a warehouse but it's like almost like Try tall drones, and it has, right? like, a, I do. I don't know. There's just a big barn door that you can open that they, huh. I, I've never seen. I, you can't well, really I, see it. I, you can go see it out there and open it, right? I, well, right? but it, it's like it's all it's all like like security, like it's all like fenced off, and you can't get to it, but you can see it on Google Maps. And uh, I'm like, dude, when they open that door, it's facing the water. Like, huh. what is behind that door? Yeah, that is that is intriguing. You can't just like take a boat out there and be like, hey, can you um, show me inside? You you probably could, but I mean, I don't you know. Might get shot I, out I of just, the water. I, I know right, how to, exactly, I know how to find yeah. out what's inside of it. The, yeah, the guy said if you, op the, if you open the door, it. you're really dead. Really fast. <laughs> <laughs> if you see the door open, it's because we're gonna shoot you with the laser. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, I feel like we learned a lot today. Yeah. No, it's no, it's good. Safety is still our number one priority. Everything oh. is dangerous. Remember to stay inside all day, kids. Play video games. You might get carpal tunnel, but you won't die. Oh yeah, one kid. And tell your Unless... parents to have lots of kids, so that yeah. your brothers yes. can yeah. die. Yeah. Brothers and sisters can die. I guarantee that if you have a bunch of siblings, your parents give way less concern towards what you what you do on a day. Yeah, it's, it's proportional. It's yeah. Yeah. Is it? Is, is that how it works? I think so. Yeah, I think, I think so. it genuinely could be. Yeah. They don't have time. It might be. They don't want to deal with it. Whatever. <laughs> It'll make like an life... evolutionary thing, you know? Yeah. Oh, that <laughs> yeah. makes sense. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for thanks for coming on the Safety Third podcast. Anyone, yeah. Anyone you want to shout out? Any anything you want to? I try to think anything I wanted to add because uh, after I was watching some of your videos, I was trying to think of anything uh, crazy I wanted to point out, but I'm drawing a blank right now. But it's okay. You don't have to. You don't yeah. have to shame me for any of my errors. Yeah, yeah. Things. You did bad, Will. You did bad. Uh no. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Bill Gates. Thank you, Bill Gates, <laughs> for sponsoring this video. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bill Gates. He wants to tell you guys to go get your microchips implanted. Oh yeah. And go buy Windows 11 when it comes out. <laughs> I've already converted my uh, my bank account into Microsoft points, so I'm ready. Oh, yeah. you, know what? you can do that already? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, cool beans. We'll talk to you guys later. Let's, uh, yeah. yeah, you should come to California or we should come to visit you sometime. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I, like, I'm trying to get new lab space right now, but uh, yeah, I would, I would love to visit and, and build some crazy stuff with you guys. That would be fun. Yes. I'm trying to make a CT I think scanner. Since, since uh, Drake me and alan are all trying to do like a lightning yeah video that yeah we just meet up and do it yeah and, so, and, and i'm in the right spot well i guess you got all the lightning in florida but i guess yeah, the florida storms too. are uh storms can get pretty wild Imagine up here how pissed kevin's neighbors would be that their neighbors trying to bring lightning down <laughs> yeah. <in his> backyard. <laughs> That's that's so epic because they can't even complain. Like, what's yeah. the law against yeah. that? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, like, no. yeah, what are you gonna go? Tell You're the ones God? that believe in yeah, God. Like, yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. Don't tell God that I'm thunderbolting my backyard. Yeah, like, I could get a law written because of me. That would be that. That that's, that's you are doing squad things goals. right. If, if if you get a law, there's right, probably a Bible verse against that, Kevin. Probably a Bible verse so, that says yeah. you can't tempt God to smite you with lightning. You can't do that. Pretty you sure just gotta start isn't. flipping him off. <laughs> exactly. It's my lightning. Yeah. I can do what I Stop want. Stop me. Yeah. Right. Honestly, him like getting lightning blasted at you would only like 
<laughs> you know, you, you do your experiment. Like he tries to smite you, and it just makes a yeah. For you. <laughs> Did right, you guys um... hear about the guy in Australia? He was like, he was on a beach, and his dad texted him, "Don't die." And he responded with, yeah, yeah, no worries. I'm, nothing's going to happen. And literally like 10 seconds later, he was struck by lightning and died. Yeah, lightning. Oh. See, lightning just do that, like Kevin. That. You got to yeah. do that. Yeah. All right. This video, this podcast is sponsored by God. Um, oh. Sin and, <laughs> and Satan. Yeah, please Sin, give yeah. me lightning and, for this. Yeah, yes. Like... yes. <laughs> I've been a bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to continue to be bad until you Lutiny. give me lightning. Yeah. <laughs> Lust. <laughs> Yeah, um, if we could get some the other uh, some ones. L- thoughts and prayers, uh, but oh, negative yeah. thoughts and prayers. <laughs> yeah, negative Bring him, lay him on heavy, yeah. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you guys later. All right, it's good having you. Thanks for coming on fun. the podcast. See you later.